I'm John Jenkinson. In the wake of the United States-Mexico-Canada agreement, the Secretary of Agriculture says the Trump administration is already on to the next deal. RFD-TV's Sarah Mock reports on where officials may be looking next. Despite China's reported interest in returning to the negotiating table, the president says it's not the right time. And China wants to talk very badly. And I said, frankly, it's too early to talk. Can't talk now because they're not ready, because they've been ripping us for so many years, it doesn't happen that quickly. And if politically people force it too quickly, you're not going to make the right deal. For but officials say the pursuit of new trade deals won't stop, and the president insists he'll continue using tariffs to press for concessions, specifically in the case of the EU. But U.S. ag is more interested in opening the Japanese market, and they were happy to hear the administration announce talks of a bilateral. One of the reasons we push and continue to push for TPP, uh, Japan and, and Vietnam were two of the largest markets that we were going to uh, receive uh, out of that, that uh, multilateral agreement. So what we would like to see is, is more of the TPP language uh, that we used already with Japan. Administration officials say they'll be using Japan's recent agreements with other nations to evaluate any future deal. Japan has done a, a very sweet deal with the EU. Mm -hmm. We think, frankly, we're a better ally of Japan than the European Union is. And we would expect to have an equal or better deal than Japan gave the European Union regarding agriculture. As lawmakers wait to learn more on Japan talks, many are still concerned with Section 232 steel and aluminum tariffs, which will remain in place against Canada and Mexico despite the new agreement. The movement in the Senate to limit the president's authority to implement tariffs is gaining momentum. But I think that Congress needs to review the president's authority under 232, and I'm leaning towards supporting Portman uh, uh, Ernst uh, on their bill on rewriting 232. In addition to keeping tariffs in place that have led to retaliation against U.S. ag, farm groups are also concerned the president may pull out of the current NAFTA agreement before the USMCA is fully effective. Purdue says he expects NAFTA will remain in place until the new agreement passes through Congress. For RFD-TV, I'm Sarah Mock in Washington. Thank you, Sarah. Specific wins during TPP discussions, which ag groups will hope to see in a new bilateral with Japan, included sanitary and phytosanitary provisions, as well as improvements to access.